Okay, my people, how are you? Greetings. Happy Monday. Uh, I just got inspired to do this video. Um, I've talked with a few people today in uh, business, and uh, I noticed the energy of a lot of the people, and also my energy as well, uh, being a bit groggy. And people can be like that on a Monday, right? You know, the nature of Monday, it's like you had your weekend of relaxation. Usually it's not enough relaxation. You don't get exactly the amount of rest or pleasure-seeking time that you intended to have. And next thing you know, it's Monday. Already again, it's time to go back to the job that very possibly you don't even like. So uh, to make matters even more compounded, uh, the energy of Monday is really the moon day. It's the day of the moon. That's why it's Monday. And I've learned this through Dr. Pillai and uh, understanding the astrology behind it, the days each day. So what is the moon? The moon is our emotions. The moon is the mind. You know, it's our feelings. So that's also why we feel all of what we feel on a day like Monday. So it's not just the fact that, you know, the weekend just passed. It's uh, the day of mind and emotions along with the fact that, you know, our weekend is over and we start a, a new week. So there's that, but also today is the 12th wanting phase of the moon. The twelfth wanting phase of the moon is represented or connected rather with Venus. And Venus, the power of Venus is mainly associated with Friday, but you also have connections with the moon phases. So there, the planets have uh, certain uh, associations as well with the phases of the moon. So it just so happened that today, the twelfth wanting phase, is connected with Venus and we know Venus is very emotional you know it's uh, also connected with relationships money and health as well but uh, when we think about Venus we think about love you know um, connecting with uh, companions and friends so it's a doubly emotional day you have the energy of the moon and now you have the energy of Venus. And it's a bit rainy over here in the tri-state area. Okay, you know, it's not raining right now, but it's groggy. There's, you know, not much sun going on. And our weekend is over. So, all these energies compacted can leave you feeling a bit crazy. And I was inspired to do this, uh, this message, this uh, video chat after looking at someone who posted on their Facebook crazy 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 Monday and I believe she's in Houston so uh, I think this at least they got the Sun over there but you know over here in New York New Jersey Connecticut no Sun so I wanted to give people some techniques uh, that I learned from my teacher Dr. Pillai in, uh, in order to get the moon and Venus on your side to get those energies working in a more beneficial advantageous way for you and um, it deals with the mantras so I'm gonna give you two mantras that I've utilized and utilized from time to time and each one I will chant uh, 54 times okay actually scratch that I'll chant each one 27 times so you can follow along if you know the chant. Many people do. Um, if not, you can over and over listen to this and take it to heart as your own. And then chant this throughout the day whenever you feel is appropriate. But know that these chants are very powerful to do on Monday and Friday. Uh, the time of the moon is for... The time for the moon is Monday, and the time for Venus is on Friday. That's also why I wear white today. You know, there is no uh, coincidence there. I'm wearing white. I have a white shirt and a white uh, bandana, if you want to call it, scarf on my head. 
because of the fact that the color white is associated with the moon. So there's certain colors that appease the energy of each planet during each day. And you'll actually feel a shift of energy of how your day goes about by creating a relationship with the planet of that day. And one way to do that is wearing the colors of that planet for the day. So let's get started. First, I want to work with the moon since that's the most powerful energy of the day. And moon in Sanskrit is Chandra. That's C H N D R A. Chandra. So the mantra goes like this. I'm going to count 27 times here. The mantra starts. Om Chandraya Namaha 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 So we give thanks to the energy of the moon for easing our mind, body and soul Filling it with pure emotion, pure light, pure delight. We ask for the energy of the moon to work with us, to give us positive influence and good fortune. And now we'll work with Venus to give us also positive influence and great fortune. The sound for Venus in Sanskrit is Shukra. Shukra. S-H-U-K-R-A-Y-A. Shukra. Om Shukraya Namaha 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 
ओम शुक्राय नम 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 सो यूटिलाइज दीज टू मंचज टू gain the positive aspects of the moon and venus and you will see a shift in your consciousness and very well possibly a shift in your outer reality which is a reflection of this consciousness enjoy your monday namaste thank you from the bottom of my heart to all the people who check me out at my website via ustream uh my website at donbernardjr.com i did my first live chat uh this was uh, yesterday sunday and it went really well and i'm a plan to do many more so because it went so well i'll continue and i'll be back this sunday um uh, at 3:30 so from 3:30 to 4:30 I will do another live chat where you can ask me all your questions, we can interact. Um I'll create a topic as the week goes along that I'll talk about. So I'll talk to you about something for 20 minutes or so, half hour or something like that, and then we can start to exchange ideas. So stay tuned for that. Once again, you can just reach that live chat at donbernardjr.com and I'll be back on this Sunday so peace blessings love and light to everybody namaste